When patients know that I'm going to use an image-guided system, that everything I'm going to put into their nose is connected to their CAT scan, it really gives them a level of confidence. It also allows me to address sinuses that I might not normally have been able to do in an in-office setting. You doing okay? Yes, yeah, I'm fine. as well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wipe your, wipe your eyes. Okay, and so we're going to use this as a calibrator. Just keep your head the way it is. Okay, calibrating the instrument. Good. You're just going to feel a tickling sensation across your forehead and the bridge of your nose. And this usually takes about 30 seconds, okay? With the new vent system, we do have to calibrate the instruments, and I do tell the patients that I'll be rubbing a wand over their forehead and over the bridge of their nose to properly calibrate so there's no, uh, so we have accuracy with all the instrumentation that we're using, including the balloons. Almost done. Another 15 seconds, okay? Too bad we can't give you a manicure, a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And what we do is we test each instrument that we use just to make sure everything is accurate and properly calibrated. Good. Good. And I like to touch each one at the tip of your nose. And test our suction. All right. Some of these are being slow to respond. <laughs> Good. All right, my dear, take the scope. Most patients, I tell them that I'm going to tell them every single thing that I do, even from putting a cotton pledget in and out of the nose, when I'm going to suction, when I'm going to inject, when they're going to have a drip in their throat, when they might feel some pressure, when they'll feel some... Uh, hear a crackling sound. I like them to know every detail. Where you feel a little crackling sensation as I medialize the middle turbinate. She does have a conchabulosa in this middle turbinate that we are compressing to allow good access to the sinuses. The first sinus I'm going to do is a sinus behind the nose. So I'm actually going to lateralize the turbinate. You're going to hear a crackling and feel pressure. Mm -hmm. You have the suction, please. I also like them to know how we're doing, how far along we are. We've, we've done two, we have two to go, or we've done three sinuses, we have three to go. Patients like to know how long it's going to take, how the process is going. It really does help them through. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a guide probe just to feel the door of the sinus behind your nose. So you'll feel a tickling sensation and you'll feel some pressure. Okay. And we're watching on the monitor as we get to the door of the sinus. We're doing great. A little bit of pressure. Good. Now I'm going to take the balloon and I'm going to pass the balloon into the sinus. And I'm passing a balloon into the sinus behind the nose. This is the sphenoid sinus. Okay, you're going to feel a tickling sensation and you're going to feel some pressure. Tickling and pressure. You're doing great. There's a lot to be said for confirmation before inflation. We really have to know where we are before we dilate the balloon. The key is getting that balloon into the door of the sinus, and once we get that balloon in the right location, dilating it allows us to ventilate the sinus passage the way we intend to. With the new vent system, we have very specific confirmation before inflation, and we could comfortably and confidently get the door of the sinus opened. And the cotton is just to catch any drips that may drip in the back of the nose. I'm going to pull the cotton out on the right side. Wipe your tears. <laughs> OK, and the same thing. I'm, you, I'm going to. With, uh, with the older balloons that I have used, I would often take a frontal seeker, for example, and palpate the door of the frontal sinus before passing a light in there. But having the advantage of the new vent system, it's rare that I will sort of pre-examine where the sinus door is, although sometimes I will. So it does allow me, because the balloon is attached to very similar instruments that I would use to, to locate the doors of the sinuses, we can often just go right to the balloon, getting to where we need to go without sort of pre-evaluating the area first. You're going to feel a tickle and again a pressure. Okay. 
Now we're going to take the balloon catheter and pass it into the door of the sinus. Doing great. Tickling sensation and pressure in the back. We're right at the door of the sinus. A little bit of pressure. Doing great. Almost done. in the sinus. Go ahead, Jackie. Jackie's going to dilate the balloon. You're going to feel pressure. Crackling. Beautiful. Three, two, one, and done. Good. Good. Perfect. Can we have a suction, please? Just going to suction a little in the back. You're doing amazing. And I'm going to take the balloon. Yep. <coughs> I'm going to go in the sinus on the left, over the left cheek, okay? So it starts out as a tickling sensation with some pressure. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah. A little more pressure. Good. Almost there. I'm in the sinus door. Jackie's going to dilate. Slowly go ahead, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You're doing great. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Beautiful, beautiful. Three, two, one, and done. Good. We have one to go. Okay. One. Okay. Last one. We'll pull the cotton out on the right. Take that suction on. Suction a little bit. Last one to go. You're doing great. Nice deep breaths. Once again, tickling sensation, a little bit of pressure. A little bit more pressure. Good. I'm in the sinus. Go ahead, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Pressure, pressure, beautiful, beautiful. And done. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. We have the suction. I'm just going to suction a little bit and we're finished. Turn your head to me a little bit. Good. Finito. You okay? You want to do it again? <laughs> I'm sure. All right, we're going to take all this stuff off of you. The girls will give you whatever you need, okay? If you want some juice, okay? And something for pain, we have everything. Okay? All right. I'll check on you in a minute. So the new vent system with the IGS Fusion has not only made for a, a, a level of comfort that's been far superior to other balloons on the market, it's allowed me to do more than I would be able to do in an in-office procedure, uh, Accessing the sphenoid, for example, has always been very difficult with uh, the other balloon technology on the market. It's something that myself and most of my colleagues would never even consider doing in office and would always do it in an operating room. But the uh, advent of the technology of the in-office uh, new vent system has really changed the level of comfort. Uh, not only that, but the time that it takes to do these procedures is so far superior because of the ability to access and confidently know where you are, there really is no guessing.